All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, joining us now as we are back live is Larry Kudlow, CNBC senior contributor and host of The Larry Kudlow Show on Cumulus Radio. Hello, Larry. Hey, Steve. Thank you again, as always. Nah, thank you, of course, uh, for coming on. Uh, just a, um, you know, a day where we'll talk about this if we have time, hopefully. We have on the Republican side primaries in Arizona and Utah and both those uh, states on the Democrat side. And then you could also throw in um, Idaho for the Democrats as well. Let me ask you maybe a little politics at the beginning. Does, you know, Donald Trump has been all over, as many of the candidates have, condemning the uh, terror attacks in Belgium today, but also saying, hey, I hope they stuck that guy's head underwater that they captured a couple of weeks, a couple of days ago, the Paris uh, terrorist, because he thinks they should have been able to get information. He said this just shows we have to, you know, ban Muslims from coming into this country until we get it figured out. Do you think this helps him at all? Yes, I think it does, unfortunately. You hate to be helped by a tragedy, but um, yes, I think it will help him, particularly as we move into the northern industrial states like New York and Pennsylvania and New Jersey, where Trump's going to win big, but this this will help him. Look, um, uh, Trump, what I want to see, Steve, okay, I want to see our candidates and others, pundits and experts, talk about why this country and our allies aren't taking the war to ISIS. Right now, we're all talking defense, how to prevent. What we should be doing is talking destruction of ISIS in Syria and in Iraq. And this is the only potential solution, and we're not doing it. And we have not yet, the United States, incredibly, has not yet declared war on ISIS. That is incredible. Well, well, Larry, in all fairness, Barack Obama was at a baseball game in Cuba right. today. He couldn't be right. bothered. See, that's another point. All right, I, I'm not going to nitpick him, okay? He didn't want to break up his whole trip. Okay, I get that. I, I thought he was lousy in his speech. But for him to stay around and attend a Cuban baseball game and no less be interviewed by ESPN correspondents, I have nothing against ESPN, but my point is he didn't have to stay around. He didn't have to go to the baseball game. He should have come right back home after his official duties were complete. And that just shows you the fantasy land that Obama lives in where he actually thinks somehow Cuban relations, which are a fraud to begin with, has the same geopolitical standing as what just happened in Brussels. I mean, that just shows you how out of touch. But I want to repeat this point, Steve Malzberg. We must take the war to ISIS. We must develop a coherent military strategy once and for all, and we must declare war. That's to rally Americans and people all over the world. Uh, I'm getting, you know people what I'm putting? talking defense. They should be right. talking offense. I, I couldn't agree with you more. I'm just putting up right now, just uh, so you, I know you can't see it, uh, Barack Obama actually doing the wave with Castro uh, today. Uh, the please, wave! Please, I mean... It's While actually, Americans are missing and, and, and injured... In, in, in uh, over overseas in a terror I mean, what, attack. What he did today, look, I, he, he, he's got his worldview, which I completely disagree with, so he's down in Cuba, so he completes his formal ceremonies. He does not go to a baseball game. Yep, I he agree. He does not get ESPN interviews. I agree. He gets and he, his uh, ass home and starts putting together a strategy to destroy ISIS in the Middle East. Do you follow me? Uh, it's not just defense. Right. We have to win on offense, and we can do that. If we let the generals put a good strategy together, which Obama doesn't, well, no, he, he has, haven't heard anything great. He has no interest. Candidates. He has no interest in that. We got 30 seconds. What's going to happen tonight in Arizona and Utah? Trump wins big in uh, Arizona. Uh, I think Cruz probably wins in um, in uh, Utah. Uh, Arizona is good. It's a winner take all. But look, on this one, the big game is twofold. Number one, Trump is going to sweep the Northeast big time. All right, quickly, I mean, quickly. Number two, Larry, number and two. Number two is there's a delegate steal operation going on in case it's a uh, busted convention. Yeah. And there's a story on All right. It, so. All right, we'll talk about that later. Larry, thank you. Appreciate it. Feel better. You. Up thank next, you. your phone calls, 877-639-7629.